Just in case they ain't get the picture the first time around. I see you hate I'm gonna get ready to paint the doors down on the 1987 box ship with Capri. Gonna wipe it down real good. Once you get it clean, you wanna go ahead and dry it off. And then you can go ahead and start scuffing it. I'm gonna be scuffing it with a maroon scotch break. Once you get through wiping it down, everything clean. As y'all can remember, I had replaced this fender, that's why this fender here blue. And this is the original fender, and it's white. But I didn't prime nothing but the top part of it. If the paint in good condition, you ain't gotta worry about priming it, just scuffing it up, be good. Same way with this side. But once you get through wiping it down, everything clean and dry, you can go ahead and start scuffing it with this maroon scotch bright. On the spots that I primed, I'm just going back over it with some 400 wet sandpaper. Just on the spot that I primed. Hood jams taken care of. Got them sanded and scuffed, ready to be painted. Nans on to the doors. 
The door is going to be basically the same as the head. Dams. On my primer spots, I'm going to wet sand those. And my factory paint, I'm just going to scuff it. But first, you're going to have to wash it down real good. Because you see all that dirt. You don't want to sand that into the paint. So let me get the washing. Then I'll be ready to prep these up. I got it cleaned up pretty good. But I'm going to go ahead and take the doors off right now. So I can clean it up a lot better. I got this side here off. Now I got to take the other side off. I think I'm going to paint the jams on the car first. Once I paint these, I'm going to bring the four doors in and paint the doors separate. I'll be ready to shoot some primer.
I got all my spots primed. My bad spots. Now I'm gonna go back and prime the whole thing to make it one uniform color. Like this spot here, I'm gonna go ahead and prime it. And somewhere up in here. Because part of this is gonna be showing just the lip of it. I'm gonna prime all this. Go ahead and hit all this. Just got through finished priming everything up. Everything good to go now. I'm just finna start wet sanding it with some 400 grit wet sandpaper. I went on and primed up the hinges and I done wet sanded everything, taped up everything. I'm ready for my base coat now. I got the whole car masked off so I won't get no overspray in spots I ain't want it. Which I'ma wet sand the whole car once I get through spraying the jams but it'll be less work I gotta do. This soft edge tape. Ask and tape. Just so you won't get a hard line. Cause if I just would have left the tape like this here, I would have had a hard line once I spread the clip. This here you get a soft line. Got everything wet sanded. All four doors. I'm gonna get ready to shoot the base coat now. Here go the base coat here. It's a dark wine berry. I'm gonna be shooting out this set of jet. It's a mini jet, 4400 HVLP. Got a
three coats of the white ghost pearl. Gonna get ready to spray the clear now. I'm gonna be spraying this Tamco AC2104 Euro Clear. It mixes two to one with 10% reducer. So that's two part clear, one part hardener, and 10% reducer. Be spraying it at my Sata Jet 4400B RP. It got a 1.2 tip on it also. This is the day after I sprayed the clear on. It's dried up now. But I was looking 
I gotta say this Tamco clear, there's some good stuff here. This HC2104 Euro clear, I give it a 10. I'm not just saying it just to be saying it, but as you can see, this is just two coats of clear here I put on there. Stop.